Hello, uh, I'm here with you this afternoon to discuss uh, re-entry permits, who qualifies for them, and what the basic requirements are. So for those who are unaware, a re-entry permit is a special type of permit um, exclusively for uh, lawful permanent residents or green card holders to apply for when they need to leave the country for an extended period of time. Uh, the reason behind needing to leave the country is not necessarily important. Um, I have had clients get them because they've taken a job abroad temporarily for a few um, years, because they need to tend to an ill relative, um, or simply because they do spend a lot of time traveling in and out of the United States, but maybe spend more time out than in. The reentry permit essentially is um, an avenue to show the U.S. government that you're not abandoning your residency. You're still required to maintain sufficient ties uh, for your residency purpose, such as permanent address, bank accounts, be filing U.S. taxes. However, when you have a re-entry permit, it's telling the government that they cannot rely solely on your absence from the U.S. as a means by which to state you've abandoned your residency. So there's a few things you need to keep in mind, um, just a couple particulars about actually filing for the re-entry permit. The first of which is you need to be physically present on U.S. soil to file. I get a lot of questions here in my office about, you know, after someone's already been outside of the country for six months and they say, well, my, um, you know, my grandmother had this issue, I needed to tend to her as soon as possible, I left the country, I've been out for all this time, how do I come back? Unfortunately, in that scenario, um, a reentry permit, it's already a little bit too late to file because you need to be physically present on U.S. soil to file. And you need to either remain in the U.S. or return to the U.S. for your biometrics or fingerprints appointment that takes about um, four to eight weeks after filing. From there, once the reentry permit is approved, it actually looks similar to a passport and you would just travel with your unexpired green card, your uh, passport, and the reentry permit just to, again, to show CBP every time you are re-entering the country, they can't rely simply on the fact that you've been outside for so many months or years. The reentry permit is typically valid for an initial period of two years and is renewable for up to six years after that. Um, the only other thing that I like to mention about reentry permits that a lot of people don't know is unfortunately um, it will push back your eligibility for naturalization or citizenship, especially for those that are spending more time out than in because there's a continuous presence requirement for citizenship and that will any break in that continuous presence um, will will potentially delay um, how quickly you can file to naturalize. But again, for the most part, reentry permits are great if you do think you're going to have a need, um, a long work project, um, a family emergency or illness where you just need to spend more time outside of the country than in, give our office a call and we can talk about the reentry permit as an option for you.